This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks and welcome to another rambling of mine. I do apologise that it has been, I think, three weeks since I've done one of these and a few of you have mentioned it. It's not that I don't want to do them, it's just I don't feel the need to talk if I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> Although others would probably disagree, I tend to blab on at the best of times, but when it comes to these vlogs, I like to have something specific to talk about rather than just rambling away for no apparent reason. So I want them to be kind of interesting. So I apologise to those of you who uh, have been enjoying my vlogs and we're looking forward to the next one. It's been a little while. Uh, there definitely won't be one next week because I'm away working next week. So I won't be able to do one. But there may be one after that if I can think of something to talk about. So this particular vlog, I want... I, an old nemesis of mine <laughs> crawled out of the woodwork as I was doing my Xbox One Battle Compatibility gameplays this week. And so I wanted to talk a bit about copyright laws on YouTube and how they affect people like me who do gaming videos. Now, the irony of, of copyright laws is, where, as a gamer, as someone who puts gaming material up, is that on every single occasion that the copyright problem arises when you post up a video is to do with the music. I have yet, out of all the videos that I have posted online, I have yet to see a, a copyright issue with the footage, with the, with the images that I've put on screen. So the cutscenes are fine, the gameplay is fine, and it's just the music. So just to backtrack a little bit, I'll explain what happens to those of you who maybe don't post up on YouTube. So what happens is I record my my playing the game, a let's play say, and I'm chatting over the top of it while I'm playing. I personally am not trying to profit from YouTube. I don't monetize any of my videos. So I'm not trying to steal anyone's rights or, or make money from anyone's uh, anyone else's music or game or anything like that. However, there are plenty of people who do what I do with millions of viewers who do make money from it. Now, to be fair to the gaming companies, they don't seem to mind. But what happens is when you post the video up, uh, it, it first of all, it uploads, <clears throat> then it processes and in the part of processing, it compiles the video into what it needs to do to make it a playable video for you. And it also does whatever their bot checks are to see if there is anything that infringes a copyright that they've got on file. So they will have some sort of, uh, some sort of bot system that, that checks for sounds in that game and possibly images as well where it has been locked down by the company who owns the music or the person who owns the music or the footage now if that happens well if, if nothing happens it just appears and everyone can see it once you publish it once you put it public if it has a problem you get a link next to the video that says copyright infringement i think I think it's infringement or copyright notice, I think it is. So you click, anyway, it's next to the, the in, in your management screen of videos. And you click on the little link and it explains what the issue is. Now, it also sends you an email to say, now to be fair, now, I will say at this point, this isn't, I, I'm, this isn't a video to have a go at YouTube as such. It's just, it's just me explaining my frustrations with trying to do what I do and, and share uh, things with people on, on their system. So you click on the link and it will tell you exactly what's happened and what you need to do or don't need to do. And it also sends you an email to say, um, it says something like, usually it says something like, there was copyright infringement found on your video, don't worry, you're not in trouble. You, And then it will sort of explain what they've done, whether they've blocked it, whether they've... So what several things can happen. Two have happened to me, or, well, two, three-ish. Uh, what happens is you have either, it will say, the copyright owner has decided to put uh, advertisements on your video. So if you ever see advertisements flashing up on my videos, it isn't me that's put those there. It's because it has copyright on it. So the owner of the copyright has decided to put advertisements on my videos and they'll make some coin out of the 
you know, not so much out of just my video, but loads of other people that might have, have used it. And the other thing that can happen is that they can block it in some countries, which is usually what happens. It says some countries. Now, some countries can mean three countries. It can mean one country. I've seen it be blocked in Germany and nowhere else at one point. I don't know what's so special about Germany. I can't remember what that game was. So in the main part, if it's just that and it says they've decided to put adverts on your video that's absolutely fine with me because i don't make money out of it anyway but if i was a youtuber who made money from my videos i no longer make one single penny out of that video because of that piece of music and and the, i'll explain more about how that works but in just a minute so i i wouldn't make any money if i was someone who wanted to make money on youtube i wouldn't make any money out of that that video so whether it's yeah, so it's one I've had I've had in my time I've had one one country blocked, I've had three countries blocked, and then I've had like 266 countries blocked. Now at that point there's just no point in me posting the video because it usually in includes Britain and America, so you know, that's probably most of the people watching. So at that point I either take it down or I try and see what it is that is is the problem. Now, I'll explain where the problem came from this week. I posted up a... I po first off, I, fo I posted up a couple of videos of Red Dead Redemption. They were absolutely fine. And then I posted up uh, two videos of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Now, I... Yeah, I uploaded them both at the same time, but I only published part one. And it came back with copyright infringement, and it was... In five places in the video, it had said, between this time and this time, this music. Between this time and this time, this music. Now, what was happening was, if you play a game while you're running around fighting or shooting or whatever, in this particular instance, it's me running around as a Jedi, smacking things around with a lightsaber, just playing the game. But there's music in the background for atmosphere. And in this case, it was the Star Wars music. So their bot systems obviously just picking up pieces of music in places in the game where it's maybe not smothered by the special effects or whatever. I don't know how their system works because the very opening part of that video was the entire opening sequence of any Star Wars film, you know, with the, the music and the, the, the credits coming in. And that couldn't have been more obviously there. But I think because I taught, because I read out the the words that were going away from the screen possibly it didn't pick it up as just music but anyway the the places it picked it up were bizarre and the pieces of music it was picking up were bizarre because they weren't anything monumental they were just kind of background star wars music that you would hear in the movies or you know not even the main theme tunes just uh, great music but so anyway there was five places where it was a problem now at this point if you want to do something about that it says you can remove the songs. Now, if you want to remove the song, it means that you're basically going to remove sound from the entire video for that space of time. Now, I tried this function before, and it removed the pieces, but it it seemed to remove them and pull the entire audio back from the gameplay. So nothing that was in me, nothing that was on screen was relevant to what I was saying anymore because it was behind. So that was a frustration that didn't happen with this but it happened because well i'll explain <laughs> i'll explain why in a minute but in theory if you could do that because we're only talking about in this particular case you're talking about 30 seconds 45 seconds and that it's an hour video you know so it could happen every 15 minutes say and then you've just lost you know 30 seconds of sound so that's fine so so i thought fine you know people will probably still want to at least see it if I can just take away those pieces of sound in those particular places of the game, because it's only so many seconds. So I clicked the button to say remove the songs, and off it went to edit and process them. And then a half an hour, an hour later, it, it, it said it had finished processing, and when I went into it, it still wouldn't play it, because it said it was still a copyright problem. And the reason for that was because when I went to check, it had failed to remove the videos, uh, to remove the, the music and the sound. And it didn't tell me why, it just said couldn't remove it, so that's it. And there's nothing else you can do at that point. You can't try and remove it again because it's you can't. There's no button for it anymore. So you're either stuck with the duff video that no one can see, or in my case, I thought right, fine, okay, I'll I'll take the time out 
Go back to my original video that I have on the computer before I compiled it into the one that you see with the intros and outros and everything. So I went back to my original and I went to the time periods they said there was a problem. And as you'll see, you can go and watch the video. You'll see what I've done. And at the point, well, basically I, I dimmed the the audio and then raised it again at the point where it was okay. So for 30 seconds, I took the sound away and then I went to the next bit. They said there was a problem and I took it away and so on. And in each of those cases, I threw some text on the screen saying back in 30 seconds or whatever. So from a viewer's point of view, I suppose it was slightly better for me to do that. But it's a royal pain in the ass because it, <laughs> it takes about an hour to upload a video in 1080p. And I've got the best broadband in Britain. So, um, well, for, a, for a, a standard person as opposed to a business. So I think it takes about 50 minutes. If I upload a 1080p 9000 RPM uh video it takes it about 50 minutes to go up if i stuck with 720p which i probably could have done in that case to be fair then it would probably have taken half the time not not quite as long as that 20 25 minutes which is pretty good so in the end that's what i did i i went back i edited it i recompiled it again because that was the raw file with uh, everything put together i recompiled it which takes again if in 1080p takes about 40 minutes or so and then I uploaded it again, which takes another hour and then wait for it to process, which <laughs> I mean, it, it's just it's not like hard work. It's just a bit of a pain in the bloody ass is what it is. So anyway, I went through that whole rigmarole and all of those areas were fine. But it came back the copyright again because <laughs> it had decided to pick up two extra places in the play in the video the second time around where it had a problem. So anyway, long story short, I decided to do the same thing with the two places it was having a problem with. And at that point, I said, if this doesn't work, I'm not doing it. I'll just post up part two. And part two had, had one copyright infringement. And it said, it's fine. You can you can still show your video off, but there'll be adverts on it. That's fine. I don't mind that. That's fine. I mean, it, the thing is, it's the same studio that's, that's saying that, they, that, that you're infringing their copyright. But on two of them, it will say you can still play it, but there are ads on it. And then in the other three, it's saying it blocked. <laughs> It's like, why? Why is it blocked for like one piece of background music and, and ads for a second part? It makes no sense whatsoever. And I'm sure it's not the copyright people that's doing that. I'm sure it's this bot system. However it works, just doesn't know how to, to deal with it. So that that was my whole frustration of the week. I'm, I'm well, at the end of the story was that I, I did that. I, I did is the same procedure with the other two pieces. Uh, put, went back, took the, the sound out of those areas, recompiled it uploaded it again and by chance it came back without any cop well not chance <laughs> after a load of hard work it came back without any copyright on it and then i was able to post it so it was just so painful for for the sake of showing an hour's worth of gameplay on a game when i didn't even want to make any money out of it <laughs> it's just like what but i think there is no mechanism in youtube to be able to say look this is a game I'm not saying it's my game. I'm not saying it's my music in the game. It's a game. I can't take out the background. All right, there are some games where you can turn the music off, but even at that, you can't. You don't want to show half a game off. You want to show the game as it is. You, you, you're promoting somebody else's work as well. You know, I can understand that maybe there's people out there who don't promote it well or maybe ask about with the footage and, and don't leave it as should be, and that maybe might be a problem, but all I'm doing is doing some gameplay footage that's all i'm doing so it's free advertising for them as far as i'm concerned i mean i've never and to be fair to gaming companies they aren't the problem the the problem seems to be from the music side of it as i say i've never ever seen a block for the actual images being shown on screen it's only ever been for the music so i don't know like the, you, there has to be a way that youtube can identify when it's a gaming video and identify that it's background music and not like there's, I'm sure the guy, who, you know, uh, what was it? Uh, God's sake, Steve. I forgot who wrote Star Wars music. Is it John Williams? Anyway, I'm sure they, they wouldn't have a problem with me showing off my video. <laughs> it's quite clear that I'm not trying to make money off of their music. It's quite clear that nobody can go onto my channel and listen to Star Wars music because it's in the middle of a game of me running around, swinging my lightsaber and killing things. It's like, <laughs> no way you can just sit and listen to the music. So there has to be some more logical way of them being able to deal with with a copyright situation than we're seeing now. But I, I can understand when it's a low, 
I don't know, like a, a low amount of people doing something. And I suppose when the gaming video started, they were quite, there, were, there wouldn't have been a huge amount of people doing it. It was, you know, but now, I mean, the amount of money that YouTube must make off of people. I mean, PewDiePie is the biggest viewed person on there. You'd think they'd understand that, that playing video games and showing them off to people would have to have some sort of more focused thing to deal with that sort of issue. You know, so, you know, just agree with the music people that, look, anything that's deemed as inside of a game, you're not going to get money on because it's not it's nothing to do with the music. In my opinion, it's to do with the game. But. Yeah, I mean, that aside, I mean, I without any doubt, the only time I've ever come across this issue with music has been when the music isn't owned by the gaming developer. So, for example, I put Red Dead Redemption up, as I said. Red Dead Redemption's music is their own soundtrack. So, therefore, the entirety of the game is owned by the studio who made the game. If you take something like, uh, well, like the Star Wars game, they own the game itself and the images within that, but they don't own anything to do with the music. They've got rights to use the music in the game, but they don't have rights to be pushing it out to a gazillion different places. So they can't say, yes, Steve, it's okay that you use the music as well as the images. <clears throat> so I think that's where the issue comes from, because the only time I've ever run into this problem is where it's been somebody else's music. The first time I ever saw this problem was with when I first played Killzone way, way, way back. Sorry, Killzone 3 on the PS3, and the opening sequence of Killzone 3, I think, has a rock track on it written by somebody, I can't remember who it is, but it wasn't owned by the studio anyway, and that came up as saying <clears throat> copyright infringement. And the problem was I couldn't get rid of the music because it was the entire opening sequence of the game. <laughs> I can't remember what I did at the time. It's not on this channel, it was a, it was a different channel that I did it on. But which is no longer there. I'm not promoting another channel. It was a channel I did with a website I was doing at the time. So, yeah, I mean, it is definitely to do with the... I mean, I think if you if you put videos up of Grand Theft Auto, you're more, most likely at some point going to come up against a copyright issue. Now, it may not block it. It may just say, fine, just, just put it up. You know, I, I posted a video. You probably see it somewhere on my timeline of, of Christine and the... Uh, some things. <laughs> I want to say in the ways, but it's not. Uh, anyway, a, a video. It was me filming my television with the music going on, and I loved the song. And I thought I'm not going to put it up like that. So I, I I smelted it with the actual song, so that you had what I'd filmed and had the proper music over the top of it, and it all synced in. It was really cool. And it came up with copyright infringement, and they just put adverts on it, and that's fine. So you could go on my channel, you could listen to that, and whoever made the song makes it. It makes money. So, I mean, I don't understand. I don't get why any copyright infringement wouldn't do that. Wouldn't say, yeah, it's fine. As long as you don't want to make any money off it, we'll just put put this on it, you know. But that's from a perspective where I'm not trying to make money. So, you know, but there's loads of people on YouTube who who do videos with music behind them, I've seen them, you know, they do things like me, like I'm doing here, and they have Star Wars music at the beginning, and then they have sound effects, and they do all sorts of fancy stuff that I don't do, I just sit here and blab, and they, you're not telling me they go off and and get permission to do, you know, from the studio, because it take about a bloody month to get an answer from a studio to use a piece of music, I'm sure, but they're not going to sit there and go through people like me trying to do videos. So it baffles my mind a bit as to how these people who, you know, I mean, Angry Joe's probably a, a good example. I see him using all sorts of stuff uh, from movies and games and, and, and that sort of thing in the, in the videos that he makes. And there's no way that he's going to studios and asking them for permission to use music. Can't I can't imagine. So I don't, and, and he'd want to make money out of his videos. I mean, there's no way he's not making money out of his own videos. So I don't know, maybe he is, maybe he is asking for permission. But anyway, so so that was that was my journey this week. And I, I just feel like YouTube could be making more of an effort to embrace the gaming industry and the market and try and identify where it's a gameplay and just say to music people that if it's inside a game, 
there's no copyright infringement because it is out there. It's part of the game. If the studios aren't, if the studio who made the game isn't blocking anything, then it is just it's allowed in the game. Therefore, it's allowed to be shown. And I think I think that would just make life easier for everybody who's trying to do the sort of thing that I do. So I mean, it, it's free. I mean, as far I mean, I'm re- repeating myself a little bit, but it's free advertising for me. I mean, I I if I was someone who was the owner of original content and I saw it being used in something that I, you know, that was, that was deemed fair play. It's just nothing. It's advertising. I mean, it's slightly different if they're doing something that, um, that that is downing you, you know, it's, it's, it's making you look bad. But if, if it's, if it's just stuff like this, you know, I mean, there has to be a better way of dealing with it, but I've been doing stuff on YouTube for a good five years and I've, I've never seen it be any different. So I think I think it's probably about time that YouTube need to start looking at it, and and saying, look, we know it's a gameplay video, so just just let it go. You know, their, their bots could identify that in a heartbeat. <clears throat> so, well, there you are. There was my there was my grumbling for this week. But as I say, I'm not having a go at YouTube. I, I actually love YouTube's facilities and the way that they work. The their systems are fantastic. They're dead easy to use. The live streaming on their system is so simple to use, and it's fantastic. It's really really good. I mean, I love it. I hated Twitch. I hated the, the, the well, I don't hate, hate's a horrible word. I hate using the word hate. I didn't like, I didn't like the Twitch facility so much. And I don't like the Twitch facility. It's really difficult to find people on Twitch. Like if, unless they've actually got the link of the person. Like if you, I've actually gone onto the Twitch app to find my own channel, put my own channel's name in directly. And all I got back <laughs> was, uh, was things they were trying to promote. I couldn't get to my own channel, like just to view it not as a, as a user, as opposed to me. So it was really like, I didn't like it. And I hate the ugly ass bloody purple logo and stuff they use. It's horrible. So everything I do is on YouTube. And I find it a really good service. I, I love it. And I spend a lot of time looking at other stuff on it that I enjoy, you know, that interests me. So by no means is this a grumble. At the, it's not, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> it's a suggestion. It's a little suggestion for you people, you fine girls and boys at YouTube, who will never ever see this video, (laughs) I'm sure, (laughs) to maybe try and come up with something where it makes life a little bit easier for the people that are making your place a really good place to go. Not that I, you know, not that I'm trying to big myself up or anything, but there you are. So there you are. There is my rambling for this week. I shall get off my high horse now and I shall go and enjoy my first beer of friday as i say i won't be doing one of these next week for sure because i'm away or working so i will try and come up with something else that interests me for the following week but i will hopefully get some more gameplay up between now and when i when i come back it has been an honor and a privilege serving for you all again and i shall see you next time take it easy bye